In the meantime, let's get you caught up on everything national and local. It is the Daily Blend. All right, at 630, our traffic team's been driving around. Carly, you've been watching the roadway since 4 this morning. I know you're in Truckee. Hey, guys, we're How are the in road? Sierra right now where currently we're looking at road conditions. A little oh, wet out here behind me. Caltrans, uh, Caltrans workers just on standby with these snow plows just waiting to head on the roadways as snow conditions will pick up into the afternoon mm. and evening, though a mixture of rain and snow right now, and we do expect to continue picking out the and you can see her signals breaking up because a lot's going on in that area. So if you were headed out 80, just know you will need change. The roadways are wet and slippery like she's been telling you all morning long. As we take a closer look at everything happening now, you can see, take a look at your screen, 50 near Howe. This is going to be 50 westbound. Traffic is picking up. 50 eastbound near here on the shoulder. We have an accident, not causing big delays, but you can see the heat is on. You're going to see slower drive times across the map for rush hour. As we take a look at our ABC 10 Wazers, if you're taking 80 on the top, making your way down to five, make sure to go the speed limit. Police are again are running radar. And we like to tell you that to set the tone before you leave so you don't get in an accident or get a ticket. As we take a look, you can also see 99 as you make your way in Florin into Sacramento. We are looking at 15 minutes. Rob Carlmark, it's all about the driving conditions today. It is. You know, I think we're getting a bit of a lucky break here because rain during the early morning commute, uh, that's a bad situation just because the likelihood of seeing more crashes because people lose traction goes way up during a morning commute. So we're not really seeing it for most valley spots right now, but that's not the way it's going to be a couple hours from now. So let's go ahead and show you all the things that we're going to be talking about. We've got rain and thunderstorms today. If it's not raining at your house right now, just wait. It's going to be here later on this afternoon. And right now we're seeing some snow really pick up over Donner Summit and some other spots as well. So this is where we are in the storm life cycle. We're kind of right in the middle of it. You can clearly see the higher elevations are getting the brunt of it right now with snow over those mountain passes and much more to come. One foot of Sierra snow is a big deal. We're looking at two to three over those mountain passes over the course of the next 24 hours. So that's going to be a big deal. Uh, we're going to be watching rain move in through the next couple of hours. You want to see what this looks like on a future cast by the middle of this afternoon. Rain, thunderstorms with lightning and also some small hail before the day is done. Even a little bit left over for tomorrow. So we're not done with this storm by a long shot. All right, 633 right now. This morning, crews are going to continue their search for a driver whose truck plunged into the Sacramento River. The truck fell off of the Highway 50 bridge that connects West Sac to downtown. This happened last night and officials tell us it all started with a crash with a semi. ABC 10's Carlos Herrera is live along the river this morning with more on that search. Good morning to you, Carlos. Good morning, yeah, I'm at the uh, West Sacramento Pier along the Sacramento River. Now that crash that caused the uh, tow truck to uh, plunge and plummet into the river happened right here, right behind me uh, at the Pioneer Bridge. And now that the sun begins to rise, you can kind of get a better look at how high this bridge is. That's westbound 50, uh, right just west of Interstate 5. Now this is the area where crews began their search and rescue last night and where the teens will continue what they're now calling a recovery mission. Last night, a West Sac Fire Battalion chief confirmed crews located what they believe to be the tow truck about 30 feet under the water, but they can't confirm it is until they pull it out of the river. The search for the dr driver of the tow truck will continue this morning. Now, crews had to call off the recovery efforts for the night because it was too dark and the river current was moving too fast. Officials say the tow truck crashed with a semi, went over the guardrail, and then catapulted into the river. The semi-truck driver wasn't injured and did stay on the scene. That's the good news. Now, the bad news is that crews are now waiting until the sun comes up to analyze the river's current and determine if it is safe to continue the recovery. You can see it there, a cold, windy morning, the, the uh, river still running quite fast. That decision is uh, coming in about 30 minutes. We'll keep you updated, of course, on abc10.com. We're live at the West Sacramento Pier. I'm Carlos Herrera, ABC 10 News. Thank you for the update, Carlos. Let's head over to Fairfield now, where Vanton High School is gonna be closed today all because of a threat. Now, we normally don't report school threats on air, but because the school felt the need to shut down, we felt that this was serious. In a notice into Vanden High School families, the school wrote, quote, our staff was made aware of a threat of violence. In cooperation with the Fairfield Police, we started an investigation into that threat. The credibility of the threat is uncertain, but out of an abundance of caution, 
we have decided to cancel school and school activities. Now, Vanden High School is part of the Travis Unified School District. It's right near the Travis Air Force Base. About 1,600 students go to that school, and that includes kids from Vacaville and Fairfield and kids who live on the Air Force Base. Meanwhile, health officials in Placer County are now dealing with three new cases of the measles. This comes just days after a reported case in Butte and Tehama counties. The three people diagnosed are all in the same family and the Auburn Racket and Fitness Club, they have been identified as a spot where others may have been exposed. So anyone who visited that place on March 18th after seven that night, you are asked to contact the County Health Division. The number is at the bottom of your screen and if you've gotten your doses of the measles vaccination, then you don't have to worry about it. But we need you to listen to this. The number of measles cases, it's growing all around the country. There are more than 300 confirmed cases across 17 states right now. All right, so now let's take a look at some other stories that are making headlines for you this morning. Bump stock ban. It's official. Bump stocks are now illegal in the U.S. A bump stock replaces a gun's shoulder rest. It allows semi-automatic guns to act more like automatic ones by unleashing several shots in a matter of seconds. Walking on the moon. Vice President Mike Pence is calling for astronauts to land on the moon within five years. We have the technology to return to the moon and renew American leadership in human space exploration. He says NASA rockets will be replaced by commercial rockets if necessary, given the new sense of urgency. Astronauts last walked on the moon in 1972. Finding the cash. California is trying to find ways to pay for its high-speed rail project. The state just sold $600 million in bonds to Wells Fargo and Jeffries LLC. A public hearing yesterday was the first since Governor Newsom announced changes to the project back in February. All right, that was your daily blend of news and information. If you got something you want to share with us, when you see it online, just use the hashtag MorningBlend10.